Why do two succeed while 98 don't? This isn't just a query, it's a revelation into the human spirit and our relentless pursuit of success. Imagine a room filled with 100 people, each harboring dreams and aspirations as vivid and intense as the stars in the night sky. Yet as time passes, only two of them will step into the light of their highest aspirations. Why is that? What separates these two from the rest? Success, my friends, is not a game of chance. It's not a random lottery ticket purchased at the corner store. Instead, it's a deliberate, intentional process that begins deep within our beliefs, actions, and daily habits. The two who succeed have grasped something fundamental. They understand that the foundation of success lies in a philosophy that embraces growth, learning, and resilience. Challenges are not roadblocks to them, they are stepping stones. Failures don't lead to dead ends, but serve as lessons that sharpen their wisdom. This unwavering belief in the possibility of their dreams sets them apart from the crowd. When we consider the remaining 98%, it's true that many of them possess similar talents, opportunities, and resources as the successful few. However, the key divergence lies in their life philosophy. For some, life is merely something that unfolds around them, a passive experience where external circumstances dictate their fate. They relinquish control over their destinies, allowing life to happen rather than actively shaping it. In contrast, the two who find success view life through a different lens. They recognize that their journey is uniquely theirs to chart. Every decision, action, and thought becomes a brushstroke in the grand canvas of their lives. They take ownership of their actions, learning from mistakes, and continually striving for improvement. Success isn't solely about reaching a destination, it's about the journey itself, the growth, transformation, and evolution that occur along the way. It's about cultivating a mindset that sees beyond immediate obstacles and focuses on the broader horizon. As we delve deeper into this topic, remember that each of us holds the potential to be among those two, the successful outliers. It's not about capability, it's about choice. Will you embrace the path of relentless pursuit, unwavering in the face of challenges? Or will you allow life's currents to steer your course? Together we explore these ideas and our own potential. Let's explore the mysteries of success, tapping into our extraordinary potential. This journey promises enlightenment, transformation, and a celebration of the human spirit. Philosophy, my friends, serves as the fertile soil where the seeds of success take root. It shapes our worldview, guides our actions, and provides the framework for our dreams. The successful understand this deeply. They've cultivated a philosophy of deliberate action and purposeful living. Belief is where all action begins. Those who succeed have such strong belief in their goals that their goals almost believe in them. They don't dwell on doubts, they focus on possibilities and replace maybe with definitely. This unwavering belief shapes their actions to match their deepest values and highest aspirations. Now contrast this with the majority's philosophy. Many live with hesitations and doubts. Their outlook is colored by uncertainty and fear. They let outside factors define what they can achieve, drifting along with life's currents. This reactive approach creates a gap between what they want and what they achieve. The successful don't possess special talents beyond others' reach. They simply approach life differently. They write their own story, emphasizing resilience, hard work, and striving for excellence. They view challenges as chances to learn and grow, setbacks as setups for comebacks. In life's big picture, every piece, experience, and decision reflects our philosophy. How we interpret events, react to challenges, and navigate our paths all stems from our beliefs. To join the successful, it's vital to develop a philosophy embracing growth, persistence, and faith in your potential. It's about seeing possibilities where others see limits, believing in the incredible, achieving what seems impossible. How do we cultivate such a philosophy? Start with introspection and honesty. Examine the beliefs guiding your choices. Are they empowering or limiting? Choose beliefs that align with your goals. Surround yourself with supportive people and ideas. Read challenging books, attend enlightening seminars, and engage in uplifting conversations. Remember, the difference lies not just in actions, but fundamentally in mindset between the successful few and the rest. As we continue, consider aligning your philosophy with your deepest aspirations, turning potential into reality and dreams into achievements. Your attitude in life's grand theater matters. It's more than a feeling. It's the fuel propelling you toward destiny. Challenges become opportunities, setbacks, stepping stones. Consider the young entrepreneur who faced failures. Instead of despair, he learned. 
Each setback enriched his journey, leading to eventual success. Those who thrive embrace life's unpredictability with a smile. They can't control events, but they control reactions. Attitude turns an ordinary journey into an extraordinary adventure. Resilience is key. Bounce back stronger, maintain inner equilibrium, and consciously cultivate this attitude. Feed your mind with empowering thoughts, affirm your strengths, and surround yourself with positivity. Remember, the altitude of success depends on your approach. It's not just about facing life, but transforming how you live. Taking action is akin to planting seeds in your garden. Without action, even the finest ideas and the richest philosophical soil remain dormant. It's through action that potential blossoms, dreams yield fruit, and goals become reality. Action serves as the true litmus test of our philosophy and attitude as we move forward. Let's talk about the focused effort that connects our dreams to our achievements. This kind of discipline, this commitment to taking steady action, is what separates those who dream from those who actually achieve. Discipline. A word often associated with strict rules and limits is actually the key that weaves success together. It's the essential bridge linking the dreams we have to the real achievements we make. It's not about setting rules, but rather about giving ourselves the freedom to reach our full potential, turning our ideas into reality. Discipline is like a gardener who ensures our ambitious ideas get the right attention, care, and time to grow. It's not just something we do now and then, it's a daily promise to keep working towards our goals with unwavering dedication. Think about self-discipline, it's like an inner guard that shields us from distractions that can get in our way. It's the strong hand that guides our focus away from things that bring short-lived pleasure towards things that will bring us long-lasting satisfaction. It's about making choices that don't just satisfy us now, but also help us reach our future goals. It's important to know that discipline isn't something we're born with. It's a skill we develop over time. It's about creating habits that bring us closer to what we want, routines that become the solid foundation for our success. Discipline is like a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it gets. It starts with small, consistent actions, like getting up a bit earlier, reading a few pages of an inspiring book every day, and making choices that move us closer to our goals. These are the threads that weave together our success story. In the big picture of success, discipline plays two roles. It's the architect that plans out our path to success, and it's the builder that works hard to turn those plans into real achievements. As we understand the importance of discipline, let's also think about perseverance. Starting with discipline is one thing, but sticking with it when things get tough, that's where perseverance comes in. Perseverance is like discipline's closest friend, quietly supporting us on our journey to success. It's the strength that keeps us going even when we feel like giving up. It's the determination that, when faced with challenges, pushes us to keep moving forward. This unwavering commitment is what sets apart those who achieve greatness. Perseverance isn't just about never falling down, it's about how many times you stand back up. It means facing life's toughest moments with strength, not giving in to them. It's not about avoiding failure, but refusing to let it define you. Real perseverance shows itself in quiet times and staying committed when no one's watching, in pushing forward when success feels far away, and in holding on to your dreams when doubts try to cloud your mind. As we embrace perseverance, we see it's more than just surviving, it's about moving ahead with purpose and determination. It's always striving to get better, dedicating yourself to perfecting your skills and turning challenges into opportunities. Perseverance is like a golden thread weaving through success. It's what makes the impossible possible and turns dreams into reality. This enduring trait, often overshadowed by flashy achievements, deserves its own recognition. Imagine it as the unsung hero in a great story, the quiet strength that keeps progress going even when life's obstacles seem overwhelming. Vision, the art of seeing what is invisible to others, plays a pivotal role in the saga of success. It's the ability to look beyond the immediate to see beyond the horizon of today's challenges and to envision a future that's rich with possibility. For those who lead the march of success, vision is their comfort. It's not just about setting goals, but about painting a picture of what those goals look like when they're lived out in full color. It's this vision that propels them forward when obstacles mount and the path gets steep. Having a vision, there's a spark of creativity, a way to see things not just as they are, but as they could be. It like painting a picture of your future with dreams and desires hold deep inside. But having a vision isn't enough on its own. You need to follow it up with action. Even the clearest vision, if it remains only a dream, 
will eventually fade away and be forgotten. It's the actions you take, the steps you make towards realizing that vision that truly bring it to life. Remember, a vision without action is just a dream. An action without a vision is merely passing the time. But when you combine your vision with action, that's when you have the power to change the world. This is what sets successful people apart. They turn their visionary ideas into reality through concrete steps. Understanding how important having a vision is, we need to realize that it's not something that only a few lucky people are born with. It's a skill that anyone can develop and strengthen. It starts with allowing yourself to dream, to believe in what could be possible. In your journey towards success, nurture your vision. Keep it alive with thoughts of what you want to achieve and water it with the belief that you can make it happen. Then bring it to life by persistently working towards those dreams. Let your vision be your guiding light, your compass on your journey towards success. As we explore our thoughts and visions, remember that to stand among the successful, you not only need to imagine what's possible, but also take action to achieve what others might think is impossible. Carry this vision with you, not just as a distant idea, but as a vibrant reality that you're actively striving to turn into truth. Risk-taking, the daring to venture beyond the familiar is a defining trait of the successful. It's the courage to embrace uncertainty, to step into the unknown with the belief that it can lead to extraordinary outcomes. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, the wind in your hair, the unknown waters below. The successful see this not as a perilous drop, but as an invigorating dive into new possibilities. They understand that to achieve something extraordinary, one must venture beyond the ordinary, beyond the safety of the known. However, risk-taking is not about reckless gambles. It's about calculated risk. It's the art of weighing the potential gain against the peril, making informed decisions not based on fear, but on potential. The stories of successful people underscore this truth. Risk takers are often filled with moments of bold decisions. The entrepreneur who invested in an unproven idea, the artist who dared to break conventions, or the investor who saw potential where others saw peril. Their success was not a stroke of luck, but the result of embracing risks as opportunities. On the other hand, many hesitate at the threshold of risk. Their steps are halted by what ifs the fear of loss overshadowing the potential for gain. They prefer the comfort of the known, even if it means foregoing the chance to achieve something truly remarkable. Embracing risk is about changing your relationship with failure. For the successful failure is not a dead end, but a detour, not a stop sign, but a guideline. They understand that in the pursuit of success, you might stumble, but these stumbles are not faults. They are part of the dance. As we ponder on risk taking, let's remind ourselves that every significant achievement in history was once a risk. Every great invention, Every monumental discovery, every inspiring creation was born from the womb of risk and change. Adaptability, change, and its relentless march bring with it challenges and opportunities in equal measure. Successful individuals are those who navigate these seas of change with finesse. They understand that adaptability is their most trusted compass. Picture a sailor navigating the vast ocean. The sea is unpredictable, sometimes calm, sometimes tempestuous. The skilled sailor knows that to reach their destination, they must adjust the sails as the wind changes, not lament the direction of the wind. This is the essence of adaptability in the pursuit of success. Embracing change, not as an adversary, but as a partner in the dance of progress. The successful are those who step onto the dance floor with agility and grace, ready to move to the ever-changing rhythm of life's music. Take, for example, a business leader who, in the face of technological advancements, chooses to learn new skills rather than cling to outdated practices. This leader understands that adaptability is not about abandoning core values or vision, but about evolving the means to realize them. Or consider an artist who adapts their style to resonate with new audiences, finding fresh ways to express timeless truths. Their adaptability doesn't dilute their art, it enhances its reach and impact. Adaptability is also about mental flexibility. The successful cultivate a mindset that is open to new ideas, receptive to feedback, and willing to view challenges from multiple perspectives. They are problem solvers, innovators, and visionaries, not because they possess some innate talent, but because they practice the art of adaptability. In your journey, remind yourself that the path to success is not linear. It is a winding road with many detours and scenic roads. Embrace these changes in direction with enthusiasm, for they often lead to destinations more remarkable than originally planned. Failure is often seen as the unraveling of threads, but in truth it is an integral part of the design. 
The successful rise to the pinnacle of success, viewing each failure not as a misstep, but as a stepping stone, an opportunity for growth and learning. Just like a gardener tending to a garden, each plant that fails to thrive teaches a lesson about soil, sunlight, water, and care. Similarly, in our endeavors, every failure imparts wisdom about strategies, decisions, actions, actions, and resilience. The key is not to avoid failure, but to learn and evolve from it. Great achievers throughout history have faced failures, sometimes monumental ones, but what sets them apart is their response to these setbacks. They analyze their failures, seeking lessons and insights. They ask questions like, what went wrong? What can be done differently? How can I improve this introspective approach turns every failure into a valuable lesson? Failure fosters creativity and innovation. When the usual paths lead to dead ends, it forces us to think outside the box to find new routes to our goals. Some of the most brilliant ideas and solutions are born in these moments of struggle. But embracing failure is not just about accepting it, it's about anticipating and preparing for it. The successful understand that failure is a part of the process. They build their strategies with the awareness that not all will work as planned. They are not deterred by the prospect of failure. Instead, they plan for it, learn from it, and use it to propel themselves forward. Embracing failure also requires humility. It's about acknowledging that we don't have all the answers, that there's always room for growth and improvement. This humility paired with the willingness to learn from failure is a hallmark of true wisdom. As we journey through life, let's remember that failure is not the opposite of success, but a part of it. It's a harsh teacher imparting lessons that success alone could never teach. It molds us, strengthens us, and equips us with the insights necessary for achieving lasting success. In our pursuit of success, let's not be discouraged by setbacks. Instead, let's embrace them, learn from them, and use them to forge a path to greater achievements. Remember, the most beautiful mosaics are often made from broken pieces. In the same way, the most remarkable success stories are often crafted from experiences of failure pieced together with the wisdom gained from each setback. The highly successful understand that it's not just about managing time, but about managing themselves within time. They are acutely aware that time, once spent, is gone forever, making efficient use one of the most crucial aspects of achieving significant success. Consider the analogy of a gardener tending to a garden. Just as the gardener allocates time to plan, water, and nurture each seed to fruition, successful individuals allocate their time to nurture their goals and aspirations. They understand that time is the soil in which the seeds of their goals are planted. These achievers practice disciplined time management by setting clear goals and objectives. They prioritize tasks that directly contribute to these goals, understanding that not all tasks are created equal. They focus on high impact activities, those that bring them closer to their aspirations, and minimize time spent on distractions or less productive activities. They are masters of efficiency. They streamline their processes, seeking the most effective and efficient ways to accomplish tasks. They leverage tools and technologies that enhance productivity, ensuring that they maximize the value of each minute. Another key aspect of their time management is reflection and review. They regularly take stock of how they spend their time, evaluating which activities bring them closer to their goals and which ones do not. This constant process of evaluation and adjustment helps them stay on course and make necessary corrections before they stray too far from their intended path. Time management for the successful is about intentional living. It's about making conscious choices every day, every hour about how they spend their most precious resource. It's about saying yes to what matters most and no to what doesn't align with their vision. Networking in the grand scheme of success is akin to building bridges. It's not just about making connections, it's about forging relationships that open doors to opportunities, foster collaboration, and enhance one's journey to success. The truly successful individuals, those who rise above the rest, understand that networking goes beyond exchanging business cards or adding contacts on social media. It's about creating genuine connections, finding synergies, and nurturing relationships. Imagine a vibrant marketplace where each interaction, each exchange, presents an opportunity to build a new bridge, to open a new door. Successful individuals navigate this marketplace with keen awareness. They engage with others not merely to receive, but to offer value, to contribute meaningfully, and to make a difference. They approach networking with a mindset of abundance, seeing the power in collaboration over competition. They understand that the success of others does not diminish their own, rather, it can amplify opportunities for all involved. Successful networkers practice strategic networking. They identify key individuals and groups that align with their goals and values. 
They invest time and energy in cultivating these relationships, recognizing that strong networks are built over time through trust, respect, and mutual benefit. Consider networking as an essential skill. Approach each interaction with the intent to learn, to share insights, and to grow collectively. Remember, the most robust networks are built on the foundation of genuine relationships, not just transactional exchanges. By fostering meaningful connections and nurturing these relationships, you create a network that not only supports your aspirations, but also enriches the journey towards achieving them.